Clash of Clans is going nuts! With this new Tano 16 sneak peek, you will be able to fuse your one-of-a-kind super defense that you, my friend, wants to build. That's right. At Tano 16, you will be able to fuse two defenses that needs to meet one requirement. And that is the two buildings you want to merge needs to be at max level. Bruh. As of right now, Clash of Clans has only disclosed two defenses that we can merge. One, the Moti Archer Tower. Two, the Ricochet Cannon. Warning! Once you merge your new super defense, it will be a permanent change. You will not be able to separate them again. The Moti Archer Tower will be able to target three different targets at the same time. If there is only one target available for the Moti Archer Tower, they will attack it more frequently. Bruh. Here are the stats for the Super Archer Tower. The Ricochet Cannon will have an effect just like the Electro Owl. It will bounce from the first target to the second target. Here are the stats for the Ricochet Cannon. Dealing more than double damage and it will have more than double the HP. As of right now, you will only be able to have two super cannons and two super defenses. And you will use four cannons and four archer towers to make these defenses. Imagine if you were able to fuse permanent troops pretty cool. I mean, would you sacrifice your normal troops to combine your own troop? Imagine if you can combine miners and hogs into one troop. That would be pretty cool. What about other crazy combinations on defenses? For example, the Eagle Artillery and the Clan Castle. When the Eagle Artillery activates, maybe you can prioritize the building that you actually want the main building to be on. For example, Eagle Artillery. The Clan Castle can come in into the Eagle Artillery. Whenever that Eagle Artillery activates, maybe it can shoot CC all across the base. Okay. Clash of Clans, don't take that because that'd be pretty annoying. Or give us a super miner. Come on. What's your opinion about this? Miner King out.